I want to talk a little bit more about how you get a handle on the temperature of this because it's not like you can just stick a thermometer into a vat of quark gluon plasma and reliably get a temperature. So there's a couple of cute measurements um, that give you some handle. So you guys have presumably at this point in time um, heard about black body radiation so that um, when you have any, any object that has temperature will emit radiation and um, the distribution of energies, uh, the wavelengths of light that that emits gives you um, a way to measure the temperature of whatever it is that you're studying. So you can actually kind of do this in a quark gluon plasma. There are a lot of complications, um, but that's the basic idea. And you can, you can measure photons. And now in, uh, in a heavy ion collision, you have a bunch of background where we say, so there are QCD processes. So things that would happen in a quark in a proton-proton collision, independent of whether or not you form a quark gluon plasma, these are not thermal um, photons. And you can actually, there's very good predictions of those. So what you see here is comparisons between predictions for photon production as a function of the momentum of the photon compared to um, Phoenix measurements. And then as you go to more central collisions, um, what you see is that for the lower momentum photons, you get a larger and larger excess of photons. So you can look at this excess of photons and calculate an inverse slope, um, which is a sort of measure of temperature what you see for Phoenix is that it's about 220 MeV. Um, what you see for uh, the Elise collaboration, so um, an order of magnitude higher in collision energy, is that you get, I forgot my units, so um, you guys should all yell at me for that one. Um, you see about 300 um, MeV. Now that's not actually the temperature. It's sort of a lower limit on the temperature because what you're looking at here in some sense is the black body radiation from the entire phase where um, you have the hottest, um, densest forms of the, the hottest, densest matter, but then the system expands and cools. And what you actually measure is an average over that entire collision. So you can take these. Um, measurements of photons and try to extrapolate to what was the actual temperature when you were at the highest temperature part of the process, and you get something like 300 to 600 MeV. And that's a large error bar. So there you have a 100% error bar. Um, but it is still nevertheless impressive. It's actually really hard to measure these, um, these photons because there's a lot of background from other things like a pi, a neutral pion decays into two photons. So, and you have way more of those than these thermal photons. And I think it's worth also stepping back and saying that, hey, we have this thing that we form. It forms for something like 10 to the negative 23 seconds. And we can actually study it. So. I, I like this measurement because it's quite impressive we can do it at all. The other thing you can do um, is sort of analogous to um, if you have some liquid, don't know what temperature it is. But, um, different, materials, different materials you can drop something in it, you can drop these materials in it, and if, um, if material A doesn't melt, you know that the temperature is below the melting point of material A. So you keep doing this until you see which stuff melts, and then you know the temperature is somewhere between the, um, 
the point where the highest melting point that melts and the lowest melting point that doesn't melt. So this thing is called quarkonia. So these are um, charm anti-charm quarks and bottom anti-bottom quarks. And um, they, they have different melting points because the binding energy is not that high. Um, so you look at where, whether each of them has melted. So what you see here in this picture from the CMS collaboration is that in the most violent collisions, you have the fewest. Uh, so ah, this, this measure is something called RAA, which my colleague Soren calls um, what you get out divided by what you expect. So if RAA is one, that means that you have exactly as many of these things as you thought you would have. Or worded in this context, none of them melted. This x-axis is a measure of the centrality. So way over here, you have very peripheral collisions. The system hardly interacted. And as you get to more and more, um, didn't mean to flip slides. So as you get to more and more violent collisions, um, what you see is that you have that more and more things melt. So um, by sharing again. So again, what you have is this really messy system. So you're not only looking at like a little vat of quark gluon plasma. What you're looking at is the average of the entire system, and you can get some of these quarkonia produced on the outside of the collision. And when that happens, even though you might have a high enough temperature to melt it, the, the quarkonium didn't even see it. So even in the most violent collisions, you don't melt everything. Um, but what you see is that as you go from less, less violent to more violent collisions, you melt more and more of these upsilons, more and more of these J size, and then mostly the Upsilon 2s, there's not that many of them in the first place. So they're usually melted. And you can take this and you can then plot the, um, the fraction you expected versus the binding energy. And you can look at this and say, well, probably because I'm most melting, um, I'm melting basically all of the Upsilons some of the J size, I'm probably somewhere in this region here in terms of the temperature. And there's a lot of corrections um, so that are very important, um, but that does give you some sense that even if our models, any of the corrections are very model dependent, but even if our models are very wrong, we tend to think that we're in roughly the right, um, the right order of magnitude. Even though we're measuring this tiny system, that exists only for, you know, fraction, like 10 to the negative 23 seconds. Let me pause there and see if there are questions. All right.